so beautiful, baby, I'm so beautiful, baby, we so beautiful, baby, let's make beautiful, baby, you so beautiful, baby, I'm so beautiful, baby, we so beautiful, baby, let's make beautiful, baby, you so beautiful, baby, I'm so beautiful, baby. All right, y'all, Love and Hip Hop Season 1, Episode 2, Shay and Pleasure P. Shay, for the life of me, I do not understand why you feel like you deserve the apology. You turned up at this man's concert with his group. Simmer down, girl, because you was the one in the wrong. You should have been the one getting out that rented ass beamer on your hands and knees, pleading for his forgiveness. Homie didn't even want to be there. So much so that he was on the phone when you pulled up because he was already preoccupied with what he thought was important, okay? He was probably talking to old girl, setting up that meeting that he was at when you thought he was coming to see you for dinner. Uh-huh. And you gonna tell, um, what's that girl name? Michelle Pooch. I can't have no weak ass nigga on my team. What team do you have? Shay, what team you got, girl? You don't even have a brand. What do you do? Sit your ass down somewhere, okay? Because it's clear that you on the come up. You've been looking for love since flavor of love. Ain't got no flavor, ain't got no sugar, ain't got no love, ain't got no nothing. Okay, so at this point, bitch, you need to play your cards right. Because I don't think you have many more options, girl, unless you're talking about hopping to the other team. You don't have many more options on this side. Because half of us don't want you anyway. Okay? Perfect segue to Michelle Pooch. I, I'm trying to figure out why everybody in Miami feel like they run Miami. It ain't like that in Houston. You know, you got people out here, their name has weight in this city. But ain't that many people in Houston claiming that they run Houston. You want a homeboy at your party for whatever reason because it seemed like he was the party. Him and his bitches got up and all you had was the empty table. So I'm trying to figure out why you wanted him to leave. You just got a personal vendetta with him, it seems like. That's about all I can say on you because I don't really know you that well. Moving along the Prince. Um, who are you? You are the epitome of a regular ass nigga who think he just it. Anybody in a club life got connected to the celebrities that frequent the club life. You in Miami, promoters moving and shaking in Houston. That got everybody number that come through Houston. They the promoter. They the people that's gonna get the flyers out to let these people know that these celebrities is coming. You ain't nobody. Veronica Vega, I really like you. I like you a lot. You possess a strength that um, Afro La Negra really needs. Every other scene, she like motherfucking candy. She is crying. And I'm trying to figure out why. You got a badass body. You got a banging ass talent. And fuck what this boy gotta say. Because I'm sure he ain't the only motherfucker in Miami making hits, okay? I don't know who the fuck he is. So obviously he ain't pushing. Who you need to get is Hitmaker. Um, Young Berg. Because a lot of people don't know him by Hitmaker yet. That nigga is popping out hits more than Kiki White is popping out kids, okay? That's what you need to get with. Get with Safari. Get with Stevie J. That nigga been hitting number one single since the 90s. He got what it takes, okay? That's what you need to be popping with. Have a scene with Trina. Figure out how you can cross that over. You singing, she rapping. That's crossover. You can introduce Trina to the Latin market and your ass to the U.S. market. Boom. I don't know if reviews should be my thing, okay? Because I feel like A&R is where it's at for me. I'm giving all y'all the gems. Use them. Trina, Trick, and Joy. Trina, you on the show because you want to promote your brand that much more. And you want to promote this TNT album that you and Tree got coming out. Keisha Cole already put the proof in the pudding. So we know the formula that people use when they finna put out an album. Okay. Now, Joy, you the reason why I said I think it should be a requirement that people take acting classes. You were stiff as a motherfucking brick. That scene you had with Trina outside that club was literally hard to watch. It was cringeworthy. Trina was trying to like, come on, girl. You know, she was trying to get you comfortable with it. But even she was struggling because she was working extra hard to make you comfortable. Just the way y'all was standing, the whole scene was just uncomfortable. Moving along to your little scene when you pulled up at Trick Daddy Hills. Pause. Dawn said, fuck you, Jocelyn. You can say what you want to say about VH1. You can say what you want to say about Love & Hip Hop. 
You can say what you want to say about Mona Scott Young, but I'm going to get my check, okay? I don't know how she made her way all the way to Miami, but she did, okay? Kudos to you, Dunn. I don't know what the fuck you do because you call yourself manager, treat daddy career, but like I said, I ain't heard of him since you don't know now, so you ain't doing much, but you securing that damn bag, and for that, you get the cat's meow, bitch. Y'all, when I saw Dunn, my lip fell to the flow. Cause I'm just like, girl, you are like the the second safari of VH1. Like you are popping up everywhere. But Joy, if you left this man and you moved on, and this man talking about every six months you got a new nigga, why did you think it was okay that four years later you needed to give me an explanation? I'm good. I didn't settle on whatever. I feel the reason is at this point. I don't need you popping up on me four years later to explain why you left four years ago. I'm surprised Street Daddy stayed sitting out as long as he did. Your ass would have got chauffeured out the door as soon as I saw your face. Your cheeks wouldn't have had the opportunity to sit on the goddamn leather on the couch, bitch. Because I know you didn't come all the way to my house for this. Girl poof. Uh-uh. 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 I would have just had Trina talk to Trick. Let's get this divorce moving along. He need to get the message that I'm ready to move forward. That's all you trying to do, right? A pop-up at his house was not necessary. Gunplay, Miami Tip, and Kiara. Gunplay, you ain't no good. And the reason why I say that is because I'm so sick of these niggas acting like they so masculine and so hard. And y'all more pussy in y'all feelings than the bitches are. You went to tell Kiara with a situation. And when she didn't react the way you wanted her to react. Like you still wrong for meeting with a bitch, period. I don't like this. You got mad and was like, bitch, I don't give a fuck what you do. As long as you bring the bag, I'm good. So that means you ain't even in it for the relationship. As long as I'm bringing coins to the situation, you don't give a fuck what I'm doing. What nigga are you? What type of nigga are you? Not mine. Not ever. I can get my own coin. And if I can, what the fuck do I need you for? Bedroom candy got just what I need. And they got dicks that sing now, bitch. So I can get entertainment and pleasure all in one. The fuck you mean talking about just bring the bag as long as you bring the bag? Well, get out your feelings. Her ass is too big for you to just be letting her walk away like that. Now my Amy tip. I know I gave the cats me out of dawn. But let me go ahead and revoke that real quick. And hand it over to your motherfucking ass. Because... I have never in my life met somebody who turned a confrontation into an opportunity. Homegirl came with um, Lucy Lou to turn up on you behind pushing up on her man. And she left jiggling her ass for you. Ugh. Yes, ma'am. Hold classes on how to finesse. Because you did that shit, mama. Yes, ma'am. And Kiara. I don't know much about strip clubs because, you know, that just ain't my juice. But one thing I do know is them hoes might be beefing against each other. But for some odd reason, them hoes seem to band together when somebody from the outside tried to come in and take one of them down. And what I mean by that is, you must have known how this shit was going to work out. Because don't no bitch bring just one bitch to go charge a bitch up, first of all, at her job. And especially if her job is at a strip club, okay? Her shoes alone can take you out. And you going to charge her up about a nigga that you walked out on? Neither one of us with him right now. So why are you tripping? And I hope you didn't pay to get in to charge a bitch up. You paid to charge? Y'all, this was all this episode gave. I'm a little under the weather, so I'm sorry if I wasn't as animated as I usually am. But, um, yeah. Same place, same time.